and welcome back to Zelda Week! We are doing Zelda videos all week leading up to the launch of Tears of the Kingdom and today we have to say a proper goodbye to Breath of the Wild! Tears of the Kingdom is out in mere days oh, and it's yeah. only right to bid a fond farewell to mm -hmm. my favorite game ever. My favorite Zelda game. Let's be real, this isn't the last time I'm playing this game, but it feels appropriate to do this. I mean, you're going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom, so you probably won't be coming back to Breath of the Wild for a while. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, moving on. So it feels like the end of an era. Yeah, working on this game was, I think for me, the highlight of my years at Nintendo, and we made yeah. countless Nintendo Minute videos mm -hmm. out of it. Absolutely. Spent so many hours into it. So we just wanted to revisit some of yeah. our favorite uh, locations, places. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out. Yeah, so you, we've all picked, how many did you pick? I got three or four. Me too. Yeah. Okay. The first one is just, it is the Shrine of Resurrection. Ah. Makes sense to start there. Can you take out the Switch shirt No, though? I can't, I can't. Oh. I need that. That's the way you <laughs> want to say goodbye to Link? Fine I'll, fine, I'll take it off. Wearing a, a joke of a shirt. What's wrong with you? This is a this is serious, It's iconic. This is a serious moment. I need to know if that's in Tears of the Kingdom. It's not. Are, are you sure? They better not dare put that in there. Or else. Just kidding. That's how they announced the Switch too. New shirt. <laughs> he, Whoops. His shirt says Switch yeah, it's got the new. It? It's got the new logo. Whoops, oh, just that's, snuck, that's that, that's snuck that in there final. Take it off. Uh... I'll just wear this. Yeah. That's All nice. right. All right, yes. The moment Link comes out of the Shrine of Resurrection was truly magical for so many people, us included. And that moment when he like steps onto, yes, that ledge right, here. right there. And you see all of Hyrule kind of stretched out below you was, was really incredible. Yeah. It um, was. This is where it started, so I guess it, it makes sense to end it, you know, there as well. And also I really love this kind of first route you take mm -hmm. to meet the old, old ma man. Old man. <laughs> the old man. <laughs> the one and only old man. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Yes. And I think he was like right by the fire. Yeah, there's his little it's fireplace. Little fire, and he was under this little like, making a thing. making a baked apple. There's an apple. Thank you very much. I'll take, take that. that. Apple. Yeah. How about them apples. Them apples right there. All them apples. And you can you get the see ads the, right there as well. Right, and you can see the temple mm -hmm. off over here, and this just gets you started in such a great way. Yeah, and it's kind of like from here on, it's like you're on do, your own. Do, do what, what you want. do, what you want. Do what you want. Exactly. And the Great Plateau is really just one of the best starting areas of a game. It's kind of a game in and of itself. Yeah. But everything that you do in Breath of the Wild is kind of contained in this starting area, so it gets you so prepared to finally move on. Yeah, to take on the rest of this massive world. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a really nice screenshot. I'm gonna take it. Take it. There Remember, we go. This is like your like, take all the, <laughs> your last photos. Can we get without that beam in there? Let's see. You got it. There it okay, is. There get it before the lighting changes. Yeah. That's very Ooh, nice. The clouds. Look at the particle eye. effects blowing around. Ooh. So pretty. All right. So pretty. What's so next? So that's first. Next. You went to the color region, aren't you? We're eventually going there. I want to go. Uh, let's go. This one, these these things always go away, but we're gonna go here. Uh oh. In 2017, when we did the Switch preview event, something else that we did there behind the scenes was we did uh, we worked with Game Informer on their cover story. Ben Hansen. And right, Min Max's own uh, Ben Hansen. And this was the demo. This was the start of the demo that we showed them, kind of taking this, this route up to Zora's domain. Oh, that's So, wonderful. and for me, like this was my first time seeing this new chunk Area. of the game yeah. too. So this is a very, you know, different kind of vibe. It's kind of like foresty, very wet. Mm -hmm. um, I really love the architecture in Zora's domain in this game as well, and you see some of it leading up this path, like those beautiful- The bridge. Sort of the bridge yeah. and those lanterns that, yep, right there, there's one of the lanterns. It just makes you kind of, as you're getting pummeled by these little I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Um, it just makes you like anticipate 
getting to that place, like right. Zora's Domain, which I, I thought was really cool. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Read the sign. And yeah, also this feels a bit more, like as opposed to how open the rest of the game is, does feel a little bit more guided of like, yeah. hey, follow this path to get right. to the place. Right, right. Let's move on to our next stop, which is right over here. Yeah, I just remember I took a lot of screenshots here. The first mm -hmm. time it came across, I was like, oh, oh, this is this is such a great, because normally you think like, oh, the mountaintop, you're getting the great vistas. Mm -hmm. But this just had such a different, cool feel to it. Yeah. So here's got kind of an overcast morning. Yeah, I like the mist sort of coming across right. the water Again, as well. Again, you can see the river, you get all of this. That's really nice. And then Very we're pretty. just we're just going for a nice little stroll along the riverbank. Along the riverside, you can pick up some and herbs. We're getting some Get stuff your along the way. Along the way, right? I really love the way the lighting goes through the trees as well for a lot of these like kind of sparsely wooded areas. Mm -hmm. It's really really well done, atmospheric. Right. Oh, so, so nice. All so right. Nice. Your morning stroll. It truly is. Yeah, and then the path just continues like on, on to adventure. <laughs> Not really strolling when you're running at full <laughs> speed, but whatever. All right. Um, beautiful. Great. I've got a couple more. Oh. This is, this is, this again, has no... Well, Kakariko there, Village, Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going there. Oh, okay. I need to get to my little green marker. But yeah, it's really just this area here where it's like, again, this beautiful grass, you're going uphill, there are these sort of large, large rocks mm -hmm. in your way. And it just makes you think of like, gosh, making a game like this, you're not just like making a flat piece of land. Like yeah. somebody has to place all of these interesting objects, make it a fun place to be. I like this stuff. Like there's the, yeah, there's the Bokoblin hangout there. And I've been to like places like, like Ireland and Scotland that I've been before, it really give me this this vibe of this sort of like hilly, yeah. super green field. Like, look at this is so beautiful. I have to take a screenshot right here. It looks um, like- Oh my gosh, where, that's that's an amazing screenshot. It right looks there. like where we live right now. We live in California, we've been getting all this rain and all those hills around us have been right. green for a really long time, which is rare, but it looks exactly like right. this. So there's like literally nothing really of beautiful. significance that happens here, but it's just like a place that has stuck with me from the time I played the game. I think this is a good example of like the exploration you can do. Like even in this sort of seemingly empty field, there's like so many little things to discover. Right, and details. The terrain is so detailed, exactly. Yeah, it's it's so amazing how they like made this game. All right, I have one more. It is in the Akala region. Aha! <laughs> All right, so here we are. The wind's blowing. It's beautiful. We've got those. Beautiful. Leaf, fall leaves. Orange, yeah. leafed trees. I like running up this foothill. Again, this, just some great scenery. Get the stable behind yeah. you as well, which is really nice. And then if you come this way, you can see off onto the beach. Yeah. And the ocean. And That's I, really, And I love I this. I love the this, spiral. Yeah. yeah. The, I remember looking out there and I was like, is that a shrine? That kind of curly cue thing. Yeah. Oops, oh no! Up. It's fine. <sighs> Oh. And then up here, there's that structure up there. So mm -hmm. you can just see so much and it's so atmospheric. Take another screenshot. I, I'm, I'm absolutely taking a screenshot as Link ponders, ponders. his future in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, wow. His arm though. Link your arm. Yeah. Be careful. Off in the distance there, a little island. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are my picks. So good. Let's get your game up and running so we can see yours. Yeah. So we are. We're into your game. In my game right now. I just want to look at Link. Ooh, look at the oh, look at the sky right look there! Wow. Look at how great he looks. Look at him. Are you looking? I'm looking at the sky. We're taking Good. A take a screenshot. <laughs> just a million screenshots. Um, this is my favorite outfit of Link's. So I put him in in this outfit for my final farewell tour. But this is actually my first location. I, I chose it because kind of the same reason why you were in your Akala region before. Where, Show us on the map where we are. Uh, we are right here on the okay. edge of the Farren Sea. Yeah, okay. Um, and I love this because you can see like this plateaued right, mountain range. Right, right. You're starting to get into the, the steps, the and, steps. And into the desert and that from there. Such, oh, look at the skies changing right now. Yeah. Whoa. And then you can see the beautiful great beyond of the sea. I always wondered like, 
Could they do an expansion where I get to go over you there? You go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little, little boat. And then you see this other side that's like the jungle. Jungle, right. Part of it, which it just makes it feel like such a grand, you know, world totally, with totally. so many different um, landscapes mm -hmm. and, and terrain that you can explore. So, um, okay, let's see. We gotta go over here, I think. Gotta climb a little bit? You gotta climb. So second location is this little heart-shaped pond, which is so cute. There's a quest you can do here where you like re you reunite two people. Right. Um, there's also this like heartbreak pond. Oh. Which is really sad, but I was like, no, I can't put that in the final goodbye video because that's too, that's too <laughs> sad, you know what I mean? Okay, oh, there you go, look at that. Oh, look at that. I remember in a Nintendo Minute, it was like a scavenger hunt sort of video. You had, this is one of your clues, and I had no no idea what You had was. no idea. But there's a no heartbreak idea. pond and a heart-shaped pond. Yeah. And again, I just love these like random little side things and discoveries and little side stories that you can do in this game. And yeah, it just really rewards you for right. like, all of the exploration. Um, so yeah, that is, uh oh, it's starting to rain. Um, great. That is location number two two um let's go to the next one here did my marker disappear no thank you there it is i think i know where this is Do yeah you? i think i have some screenshots of this of this too i think it's back here the bird's struggling <laughs> <laughs> oh do you remember this place Oh, this is not what I thought, no. This is this like beautiful cherry blossoms blossom tree. Um right there near the uh, I think it's the Satori yeah. Mountain. Yeah. Um and yeah, I, I just remember it being so like surprised by it. You know, it, this is the only one in the game in the game, I think. And look at how beautiful it is. Yeah. It's a fun surprise it's to a really, just come upon. And we had such great memories when we were in Japan during cherry blossom season. It really reminded me of them. Yeah. I'm glad they put this in the game. Also, this pond here, if you come at nighttime, that's where you can um, get like that mount, the um, the great beast or, or mm. like that like spirit. The spirit animals yeah. come here at night, and then the the side the, like the the side of the pond is like filled with silent princess flowers. Oh wow! But look at the petals in the water. Hey, and then this tree in the distance. Look at how oh, beautiful. Oh, that's great! Look at the lighting through that. It yeah. just goes to show the personal touch of creating this world. Yeah. You can just put it into a computer and spit this out. Like exactly. Somebody, somebody thought all of this out. How pretty is this? Right. Yeah, that's great. It's so nice. All right. One more. It might be. We might be going back to the Akala region. <laughs> oh, slightly different though. Slightly different. Um, I like this one because it had a, like a big story moment with Princess Zelda praying in front of the goddess statue, yeah. trying to like awaken her powers. But I also just really like this area. It feels so like peaceful and. I know, ancient and just has like so much like meaning for the story and these water lilies here are so pretty. You're surrounded by waterfalls behind the statue. And it's, it's really fun because when you come out of here, you are actually in the uh, Akala region, but it's like through these, this like thicket, like this curtain oh, right. of vines right. and Right, I'd forgotten about this, yeah. Yeah. Um, this part is really scary. So we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> go pull back away inside. from that yeah. and go to the next place. But your last spot? My last spot. So yeah, I actually just really like this area by the stable, and you can kind of walk up this like path right here and go. This is like your river vibe check. Like you can just do a little walk up the foothills and go through these beautiful like fall colored leaves. And it's so nice. It's there, so pretty. There are a bunch of guardians up that way, so. Don't go all the way. <laughs> the vibe, the vibe could be hampered by hampered guardian hampered lasers. By... Oh, you got a nice moon, like but half look, half moon here. Yeah, but look how pretty this Ooh, is. Ooh, go get that, get that screenshot. Ooh, get that. Oh, yeah. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> I get 
Oh, that's a cloud. They see, you had to take it while well, you could, yeah. All right, like this little path up here is so beautiful. And then the research lab. You got the research lab there. there. And that was another thing where it's like you were going up through these beautiful woods and you're like, oh, what's, what's over there, you know? So lots of fun discovery and yeah. I just really like it. Yeah. Oh, it's That's starting nice. to rain. And it's starting to rain. Lightning's probably coming. So, that's it. There you have it. It's amazing that we didn't really pick the same thing at all. I know. That just goes to show how many wonderful, amazing locations are in this game. Um, I'm so glad that we got a chance to do a little farewell tour for Breath of the Wild. Let us know if you guys have favorite places that you visit again and again in this game and I think we're all going to be setting this aside for a little bit while we play Tears of the Kingdom but hopefully yeah. we'll be discovering lots of beautiful locations and there in, as well. And in five to eight years we can do the same type of video for that game <laughs> as we get ready for the next Zelda game. <laughs> oh boy, I can't think about that right now. It's too stressful. All right, that's it. Zelda Week continues. Thank you for watching, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.